Uh, Rose, who do you play? I play uh, Briseis. Yes, she's a Trojan priestess, and she gets um, captured by the Greeks when they invade and are given to Achilles for his entertainment. So, what? She's part of the royal family. Yeah, she is. She's Hector's cousin, um, Priam's niece, then I think, and she is uh, from royalty, so she's educated. And she's an acolyte. I mean, she's a priestess, so that means she's all day. She will serve out rituals to the gods, giving you know water and on shrines and giving them meat and uh, you know scrubbing floors. And she wears a long veil, and so it's sort of like a nun. Yeah, that's what she does. So uh, when we when we meet her, what's going on? What what what's, what's the story? Um, she they when the Greeks invaded, she's in the temple of Apollo, and um, you don't see this, but they sack the temple and they have a big fight, Hector and um, uh, Achilles, and she's taken by Agamemnon, the greedy, tyrannical, you know, dictator, and thrown into Achilles' tent to, you know, for his entertainment. So she's bound up, and she's a prisoner of war. She's there, so, and she thinks she's going to be raped and murdered by this horrible, you know, very famous warrior comes in and he's covered in blood and they go on to have this sort of antagonistic fight but then he says to her, I, I won't hurt you and I, res you know, I'm not going to hurt you and so she's sort of left there going, right, well, when are you going to hurt me, you know, so, but the thing about her is that she's very um, dignified under such horrific and uh, terrifying, you know, she's terrified but she, Wolfgang's thing was always to give her dignity and her strength in this, in these situations. And Achilles happens to be Brad Pitt. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the demigod. <laughs> is, it, is it daunting to, 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 to act with a demigod? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I, I had to get over that, though, because she's not daunted. Briseis, I mean, I think she is deep down daunted by, you know, it's life or death, and she doesn't know who, she doesn't trust anybody. But she's very feisty, and she's opinionated, and she, and so I couldn't afford to get to... Um, starstruck, you know, and Brad's really not down to earth as a person. So once I got to know him, it was it was fine. It was fine. He's quite shy, like he's not. I think he's kind of a shy person. But uh, um, once I, you know, warmed up, and you know, you get to know someone, it gets it gets easier. Yeah, he's lovely. He's such a lovely person. This was a huge production. Mm. What, what what part of it is the most memorable to you? Um, probably the length of time <laughs> that it took to do it. In all honesty, it was so long. It was about so long. It was about five months. And it was just full on. It was just very long time away from home. Travelling, didn't you know, with people you didn't know and waiting around. Um, exhilarating when you were working. Uh, but, you know, thrilling on sets with huge gates and Helen and oozing and throwing and people and costumes. and So it was sort of that's the that's the most memorable thing is is the 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 length like it's very much like the film like it was epic doing the film was epic and the film is epic so it was exactly parallel mm. what was the process of getting the role uh, i auditioned in sydney i put myself on tape for helen and then um i met with wolfgang in la and then we discussed things and he said, Briseis, did you like her? And I said, oh, I thought she was great. And I actually, I always felt more connected to Briseis when I read it. And then um, I auditioned for Briseis in Canada and then flew to LA and read with Brad for, for the final audition. The, really, the, these two women, Helen and Briseis, yeah. uh, and um, how are they different? I mean, as, 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 as icons, how are these women? Different. Yes. Well, um, as icons, I think... Helen is much more famous. I mean, you know, more familiar. Helen of Troy is a huge um, mythological uh, en entity in our culture. I think Helen of Troy, the myth of Helen. Um, whereas Briseis in the Iliad, she actually doesn't say anything. So David Benioff has really given her um, this character, the screenwriter. He fleshed Briseis out uh, to the extent to the, that I now played her. But I think, I mean. Briseis is a, is a pacifist, I think, in, in, in innately, but yet she's forced to sort of defend herself. And, I mean, in a, as, as, an, as an icon, I, I think she's probably still um, establishing herself. I don't <laughs> think she probably is an icon, really. <laughs> in the process? <laughs> she's in the process of being one. 
<laughs> oh God, I don't think that makes any sense. But I don't think she, I mean, I think Helen it portrays the thing of leaving, you know, for love and leaving and she's costing the war and, you know, uh, but, it, you know, in the real story, it's taken a lot of liberty with this, but I, it's because it's so different from the Iliad, the film, in a lot of ways. Like, because Helen goes back 10 years later to Sparta and, you know, it, 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 the story keeps continuing and continuing and continuing. Um, so if anything, I, I mean, I think probably Briseis is the um, the modern woman, really. <laughs> you know, she sleeps with the enemy. She <laughs> she defends her life. She kills some, you know, leader. She's you know, she's more your um, you know, she's 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 more your Bridget Jones. Or <laughs>